Hello, this is Vampire once again. Uh, this is a video response to a video that you guys sent to me asking me for pointers. Uh, it's uh, your training video, essentially. So uh, I apologize if this is a little too advanced for some people, but uh, you know, don't get discouraged. You know, you just have to be patient and diligent. Just keep working at it, and you'll get there. Okay, so uh, this is double sticks. And we're going to start off with a heaven six. So heaven six, when you start working with partners, right, you're going to notice that rather than making big arcing motions, it just it just doesn't work too well unless you guys have a ton of space and stuff. If you're in class and there's other people around, you're going to start to like tap sticks. And as you get more efficient with your movement, you begin to tap rather than arc, rather than cut. Okay. And, and that's fine because this is a different way to do the heaven six. This is now striking style, okay? So keep in mind, when you notice that you are tapping sticks, don't just tap sticks because then it's just patty cake. Keep, keep in mind that you are striking. So it's one, two, three, four, five, and six, okay? So empty hand-wise, that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. You are striking, all right? So uh, from there, the next step is I want you guys to add a high, medium, and low, okay? So high is, imagine you're fighting Andre the Giant. Medium is, you know, around here. And then low is now thigh and knee, okay? So let me do that real quick. So high up here, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm doing heaven six exactly the same way, but now I'm aiming up there. Okay, next is a medium, one, two, three, four, five, six, right here. This is the one you guys are going to be comfortable with. And then next is the uh, thigh and knee area. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. So this is the low heaven six, okay? Now, the point, the pointer that's going to help you guys do this is when you're doing the normal striking heaven six, the striking version, the motion here is in the elbow. Yeah, I could put hip, I could put shoulder, I could make it more powerful, but um, what I'm doing right here mainly is elbow. The elbow is what's um, propelling the attack there, the elbow, okay? So in order to do this next part, high, medium, and low, you're going to have to incorporate wrist, okay? So when you incorporate wrist, now that enables you to angle up. And then for medium, you don't really need to incorporate wrist, but it helps you with getting some snapping power in there. And then definitely for the low line, you're going you're gonna to have to incorporate the wrist and aim downwards that way so that you can do the heaven six downwards like so. Okay, so it involves now wrist. That's the next progression. So now we'll go to the other way of doing it, the heaven six, which is the arcing, curving motions. Because after all, remember, these back in the day were short swords. So with the short swords, it's going to be like one, two, three, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. As you can see now, they're arcing, they're slashing uh, type motions. We are cutting big time. And uh, so for that one, what I want you guys to do is, of course, practice that. But now we're going to add ground. So you're going to hit the ground that way. And in order to do that, um, one of the things that you see, you might see a lot of Filipino martial artists do is as they're doing something like they have in six like this, they constantly move that back leg back, okay? Why? Because they are worried that the front leg is going to get attacked because, you know, you can go high and low. You can fake them out and take out their knee or something. So um, they're constantly worried about that, so they, they get in the habit of moving that front leg back. We're going to exaggerate that and take it all the way to like a half sprawl right here. So you're just moving the front leg way back to where you now in a low stance rather than doing this. We don't want to do this, okay? Because if you bend over like that, you're in bad balance. You could be uh, taken down. You could be thrown. You could easily lose your balance and fall and end up on the ground. And we don't want to do that. So. Uh, you're going to shoot your front leg to the back, and you're going to do the exact same arcing motion, heaven six. So you're going to go one, two, three, 
four, five, and six, okay? So you practice hitting the ground that way. Uh, this will help you with defensive, if the opponent changes levels on you, and it also helps you with being able to attack a person at a weird angle, like if they're on the ground, like that. So, okay, uh, the next one that I wanna go into is now doing the heaven six, where it's just wrist, okay? So the arms aren't gonna move much. It's still the heaven six, but as you can see now, boom, 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 boom. This is right here where the wrist is doing pretty much all the work, okay? So when you do this one, um, this is out of, out of everything I showed you so far, probably the hardest because you have to become the most efficient uh, to be able to do that. You, you, your body just goes more and more efficient. And then, so obviously, rather than using the whole arm, um, we're just using wrist. So it, it naturally wants to get there. You just need to put in a, a bunch of repetitions. So from here, what I want you guys to, to understand is you're going to start to feel momentum a lot. And that's a good thing. But you need to be able to control the angles, okay? So what I see a lot is people go sideways over here, and then they go diagonal on the other side. And they go sideways here and they go diagonal. And if that's what you want to do on purpose, that's fine. But if you don't know that you're doing that, then that's not good. You want to be able to see what are you doing. So when I come right here, am I going for the neck? Am I going for the temple? Am I going for the collarbone? Am I going for the shoulder? Am I going for the rib cage? You need to be able to control that angle. You need to be able to see that line, okay? If not, you have no accuracy. So right here, as, as I'm going right here, I'm controlling if I want it to be here in the center, if I want it to be diagonal right here, if I want it to be sideways. You should be able to control that. But in the beginning, just go with this 45, 45, okay? 45, 45. In the mirror, it's kind of like right here, right around your shoulder area, boom. And then right here, right around your shoulder area right there, okay? So just uh, work on that. And uh, that's it for now. Thank you for viewing. And take care, folks.